I'm Lady Aska and today we will be talking about wings. This tutorial was heavily requested, so let's jump right in. First, we want to create our wings in Vroid Studio. Here we actually got two possible options on how to do that. This model, my Halloween costume from last year, is the perfect example for a simple pair of wings that you add in using hair textures and hair as a canvas similar to how we added the special effects blend shapes. You adjust the hair mesh and draw out two flat hair strands and make them as big as you need them. Remember, you can type in a custom number into nearly any slider and go out of the usual boundaries of that slider. Then we just upload the textures and remember that for a pair of wings you would actually have two different ones. Just one texture usually doesn't work, even if you duplicate and flip because the texture will have the wrong orientation. So your second wing just has to be flipped accordingly on the texture itself. For the second type of wing, I want to demonstrate quickly the concept and how it's done before we jump into Unity to attach these to the back. The reason for this is that you can go really, really elaborate with these. We first adjust the mesh for the wings, create a new material and draw a kind of bone structure on which you should imagine in a 3D space and adjust till you're happy with the result. You may have to turn the model around a few times till your structure looks good from all sides. After that, we would draw the feathers in. As you see, we draw each feather individually and that sadly means we also have to treat each feather individually after. That's the reason why I'm keeping it really simple here. Now you can actually duplicate and flip the whole hair group and voila, a pair of wings. You can make way more elaborate models than me. I just have to keep it simple for the tutorial. We also want to add some bones into these and the trick here is to turn both of these into different bone groups and set the axis for the group on our first bone strand. So this will dictate the movement of the wings. Don't forget to also set the fixed point way into the back where the wing starts. We export as usual and remember to disable the lead transparent meshes and combine hair mesh. These can't be enabled. Otherwise, you won't be able to work well with the wings we just created. Now on to Unity. We are opening up a new project and import the UniVM plugin as well as the Bone Weight Transfer plugin. Links are, as always, down in the description. I will show first the version for the flat bat wings, as this will be way easier. I drag my avatar into the bottom assets and after into the sample scene to the left. Then we click the little arrow to the right of the avatar's name to get into the menu where we can see all the bones. The idea is now to find both hair strands that reference the wings and use our bone wear transfer tool to attach them to the back. Remember the first box is for the hair that we want to move. The second is the place from where we are taking it, which is in this case the head. And the third is for the place where we want to attach it to, which is the back. We repeat that for the other wing too and could now export our avatar and pop it into VC face to see if everything works and looks good. Now onto the other avatar, where we will repeat the same steps. But now we have to use the bone weight transfer plugin for more than two hair strands. As mentioned before, you have to run each hair strand individually through the tool. Remember our feathers? That's exactly what we have to do now. And we also have some bones attached to these, which contrary to popular belief, don't get transferred with the plugin. I know, the name is really misleading at this point. You have to move the bones manually into the section where you want your wings to attach to. If that is the back, then we find the bones from the list they actually light up a little bit in the preview, so you should be able to locate them after a bit and move them into the other category via drag and drop. We do all of that for the other wing too, export our model as usual and test it on VC face. Feel free to create super elaborate wings if you are patient enough with Unity after and have fun taking your model to the next level. Hope you have a wonderful day. 